Hey y'all, this is Joe out at the cabin, out at St. Bernard Acres. This is Tuesday, uh, September 1st. August is gone. <laughs> um, I came out here to do some work today, not play with solar. Um, but I am going to check on my solar. Yes, we were out here Sunday. I put a video up Sunday showing what our system had done and yesterday it was overcast and gray all day there was no sun whatsoever today it's not a whole lot better but it's supposed to start breaking up in the afternoon and get some sun um, if my batteries are still good where they should be i'm going to plug in the refrigerator and leave it plugged in and see what happens um, Because there should be plenty to take care of that. Let me uh, walk in here and see what's going on. Again, I want to see a flashing green light on the charge controller and what do we see a flashy green light all right so it's all still working sweet i bet we haven't pulled much in today let's see what we're looking at here Sixty four volts, one point three amps, three point six kilowatt hours. I gotta figure out when that is. That may be still accumulating since I didn't reset it. My batteries are at twenty nine two. That's perfect. All right. Ah, that's what I wanted to see. And I'm going to turn on the batteries now and turn on the inverter and see if my light works. <laughs> All right. So we have 29.25 or 27. Let's turn the inverter on. Twenty-nine point five point six, bouncing around in there. Let's see what happens. Ooh, we have light. Absolutely. So, since I have power coming in, even though it's all crappy out there, let's see what that light uses. Forty-three watts. One and a half amps for the light and the inverter. So that's not too shabby. I mean, I don't need the light. Let's see what, without the light, what the draw is for just the inverter. So the inverter is drawn less than 8 watts and less than 0.3 amps, 0.27 amps. So that's good. That's not bad at all for that inverter. Let me move the light out of the way. And rather than use an extension cord, I'm going to move the refrigerator over here and plug it in. And see what happens. I'll be right back. Alright. So I move this fridge over. Next to the battery bank. And the inverter and everything. And let's plug it in. And see what happens. 
Okay, well that sucks. I don't like the way that plugs in. Uh, let everything adjust. I heard it kick on. Yeah, the light's on. The batteries, it's adjusted now to 29.6. Let's see what I'm using here. 3.3 amps, less than 100 watts of power so far. So, that's pretty good. I'm going to have to let it run and let everything settle down though and see where we wind up at. Uh, when everything is working, I'll check later uh, at where things are sitting. I'm going to go do some work. I do see sun trying to peek through, which is a good thing. Uh, pretty soon there'll be sun on the panels. Whew. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. And the solar is working. All right. I'm sure with that just being turned on, I mean, it, the running wattage is less than 100 watts. So, that battery bank should have no problem whatsoever running that refrigerator 24-7. Even with a couple days of no sun, I shouldn't have any problems. I wonder what I've got that set at because I had it running on the generator. I don't need it to get super cold. Uh, right around six, I guess. Four. Let me put that on four. Unless I'm going backwards. <laughs> Which is the coldest? I'll leave it about halfway. Five. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Still less than 100 watts. Still getting energy coming in. All right. Let me leave that alone for a while. Whoops, my hand was in the way. It's like watching paint dry. So I brought that $50 Craftsman out here um, to see what it does. I don't, <laughs> I started it yesterday. It's not running right. It's sputtering and backfiring and doing all kinds of crap. So I was all excited when I changed the solenoid out and it started. But, it might be in worse shape than I thought. But yeah, I got a bunch of wood I have to move down into the barn. I'm going to build a box on the back to put these batteries in. I don't want to spend the night in this cabin with these batteries gassing like they do. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled. I have a refrigerator on solar. Yay! And, uh... We'll see how the batteries react before I leave. I mean, if they drop too low, then I'm going to unplug it. Um, but I should be out here for a few hours, and we'll see where it goes. Yeah. Baby steps. I mean, people are telling me on my YouTube channel, I'm, um, you know, commenting on my videos. Oh, well, you should do this. You should do that. Look, I am very nervous. I don't know how this works yet. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> so I'm taking very nervous baby steps when it comes to hooking all this up. It's my 
$1,500 or so I've spent on this so far that I don't want to take a chance of messing up. So I'll take my little baby steps. We'll see how this fridge does. But this is Joe. I'll be back later. Let's see if I can get this off the trailer. certainly a lot better than it was running yesterday but I don't know if you can see the dew here this is way 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 too wet to try to cut but the blazing gauge it cut I don't know it might be just fine for using out here I was kind of happy with that all right so hopefully you can hear me uh, what I've got going on here is hmm, I don't know what that is. But, uh, I've got to move the battery bank out behind the cabin. I'll build a box for it. And uh, big box. Not this little box. All right, there's something in here flying around. Um, I've got a pallet back here behind all this used wood that I think is going to be the perfect floor frame for uh, what I need to do back there. But. I've got to move all this stuff first and that's what I've been regretting doing. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god, is it heavy? Uh, but this is probably three and a half feet by six feet and made out of two by eights, two by fours, two by sixes. That's a uh, probably a two by twelve. <laughs> but I think, and it's tall enough. You see these runners, the uh, two by four runner all the way across, and then these two bys that I'll put on blocks. That'll be the good base for a room. Uh, good floor. It's not pressure treated lumber, but I'll raise it up off the ground and I'll frame it and put some of that plywood and paint it on the outside and a door. And I got a perfect little power room there. All of it made out of, you know, recycled wood. So let me get this. God damn. This one I'm going to put back behind the cabin. Get a better look at it now. Uh, this is going to be my floor for the battery room. I know I had it down there. I just had to get into it. But let me head back up to the cabin now. I'm happy. Alright. So it's been about an hour, hour and a half. I've been messing around down in the barn. And uh, getting all the material I need to build my little room. Got it up behind the cabin and got the mower loaded. I got to take it in and get it serviced. It's acting stupid, but I got everything locked up in the barn. So I'm going to check to see what my refrigerator is doing, see if it's still running. Uh, like I said, it's been about an hour and a half since I plugged it in. Hopefully my batteries are still, you know. They've all evened off now. It's around 28 volts. Uh, I think that's where I should be about, especially with the sun going. So let's see what I got. Uh, so much cooler in here, even without the air going or anything. All right. First off, let's see. We still got it. Oh, yeah, it's still on. All right. So this says the batteries are at. 28. I can live with that. Hell is yes. Let's see what the meter says. Wow. 17 watts. Uh, a little over a half amp. Heck yeah. Alright. So. 28 volts. So it's basically running off the sun right now. It's not really, you know, if it's using 100 watts, then the sun is providing all but, what, 17 watts? And as the sun moves over more and it really starts soaking in that sunshine in the panels, the whole thing will be running strictly off the panels. And about 7 or 8 o'clock tonight, the batteries should be completely full. Then the refrigerator will be running completely off of the batteries. And I'll come back out here in the morning. I can't stay tonight. Uh, but after work tomorrow, I'll take a run out here and see what things look at. Because it's supposed to be raining and stuff tomorrow. There's not a whole lot I can do. But I'll see if... I can leave this plugged in or if I need to turn it off or what. But we'll see. Uh, remember, like this, uh, like the video, comment, share it. To give me suggestions, give me some advice. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. <laughs> so you can learn all this stuff as I learn it. Uh, for you guys that are thinking about subscribing, I have the best, most knowledgeable subscribers on YouTube. They have given me so much advice and, uh, told me the things I was doing wrong. So they're good to have around, but we're rocking and rolling here. So I'll check back with y'all tomorrow.
I'm out.